the Cape of Storms. Um, very simple, obviously, it was very rough oceans. That's why they named it that, and it caused many shipwrecks in the parts. Take note of the small things that you will honestly really appreciate life more. What's good? What's good, guys? Welcome back to, to another video, man. Welcome back to another vlog. So, yeah, finding ourselves here again, once again in Constantia. Are we doing Constantia Nick today? I have done this video before, though. So for those who haven't checked it out, um, go check that video out. I'll link it up here on my left hand side where I'll, you know, give you more tip of all the dams and things like that. We're going to actually like to the five dams of Table Mountain now. If you guys wanted to see more of the dams, so we're actually going to be showing you more of the dams today. I'm not going to be speaking much about the history of the dams because I have done that in the previous video, but you guys can go check that out, okay? So yeah. It's a beautiful day out there. Um, as you can see, ah, lots of cars. There's actually the parking you guys want to come to. Once again, to make your life much easier, just put Constantia Nick in your GPS and it will bring you right here to this point. Very nice walk, easy to medium walk. So yeah, for everyone to do. I'm not going to be speaking much in this video. It's going to be a kind of raw vlog, but yeah, I'm just going to show you more of the scenes of the five dams um, that was created on top of Table Mountain. So yeah, let's go. Oh, damn, it's a chilly one, guys. It's a chilly morning today. Um, but yeah, going to be a good one, though. For those who are not from Cape Town, South Africa, it is winter. Once again in Cape Town, so yeah. Um, not the normal winter day, though. It looks like more like a summer day, as you can see over here. I mean, and obviously, we're in the shade at the moment. Guys, wanna to listen to the sounds while you're hiking, you know? Oh, you know, the sounds of nature, it's just so beautiful, really. Super beautiful, we can hear all of the birds and things like that. I'm gonna let you guys listen. I'm not sure if you can hear, but yeah, just take a listen. And now for some ASMR vibes. It stands for Optimus Sensory Meridian Response. It's that tingling feeling sensation it usually begins on the scalp and moves down the back of the neck and upper spine. I'm just talking nonsense here. <laughs> but yeah, I enjoy the sounds of nature. Okay guys, so we actually found a new route. I um, actually found a new route that I'm taking up, so... Oh, damn, right, sorry. I actually found a new route that we're taking up, so... Quite an interesting one, but um, I won't be showing you guys this today. It's a bit longer than the usual route. <laughs> um, but yeah, have a look. More climbing involved, more scenery, and more adventure. So for those who would like to actually see how to do this new route that I discovered, comment down below. We would like to see the new route. 
and I'll definitely do that in the future for you guys. Other than that, enjoy the rest of this video. So as you can see, we're on the cheap track now. When you do do the normal route, this is the track that you want to follow. There's an intersection when you do come to though, that you need to be very vigilant and take note of. This is the intersection I'm speaking about. So you guys are not going to want to go straight, okay? You're going to have to go up over this side, you're right. And this pathway then takes you up to the overseas cottages. For more guidance, we also have this that you guys can take note of. So yeah, watch out for the sign. And we're going to move all the way up. Your right inside. Once we reach this point where we are now, guys, you can see behind me, you know. Um, this is actually where you get to rest your legs. <laughs> The beginning of a trail is quite hectic. Um, I know it's easy to medium, but it is, you know, a challenge for many people, you know, especially if you don't hike every day. And, uh, you don't go to gym every day. You will definitely, definitely feel it in the legs. We're almost close to the overseer's cottages. Now from here, it's flat foot. And then yeah, I'll catch you guys once we reach the village there. Villiers. All right, guys, so check it out. Um, the Villiers Dam, Alexandra Dam, and Victoria Dam. These three dams were actually built after the Haley Hutchinson Dam as well as the Wooded Reservoir. The municipal, oh, municipal, municipality of Weinberg. Jeez, Louise. Or the southern suburbs of Cape Town actually took things into their own hands, you know. Uh, all of these water was actually used to supply the city with water, but not the actual city of Cape Town, more the southern suburbs. So take it as this, um, Cape Town's divided into two sections, okay? We have what we call the West Coast, as well as the Falls Bay Coast. So on the Falls Bay Coast, closer to the southern suburbs, uh, it's a place we call Weinberg, though. These three dams supplied that side of Cape Town with water back in the day. And then the Haley Hutchinson, as well as the Hooded Reservoir, was supplied to the city. So that's how this dams was actually formed. Still going strong today, as you can see. And we've got many people hiking up the mountain, just coming to enjoy this beauty of Table Mountain National Park. Dam number two, Alexandra Dam. Okay, so you guys can actually head down here, you know, and go explore the dam over there, as you can see. And um, we can actually take a walk along the dam. Super gorgeous. Super windy here guys, sorry for the noise.
right, so check it out guys. So as you can see over here, uh, the dams of course get extremely full, okay? Because of all the rain and things like that. So obviously, you know, it overflows. So when it do overflow, we need a exit for them or a port where the water can overflow into. And this is actually that port that you're looking at now at the moment or, you know, I don't actually know what to call it. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is where the water actually overflows into finally made it guys to the last two dams to the Ali Hutchinson guys but I just want to show you how full the dams is um the last time we were here I'm gonna pop this clip up quickly that's how it looked when we were previously here you know much much less water and you could actually see the white sand the white stone that's beneath you know and that's what we call the beach of Table Mountain is what we usually see over there um, but look at how it looks now huge difference Yeah, okay guys, so check it out. This is usually the spot now where we need to cool off, you know, have a nice snack. Um, you guys would want to chill before you actually head back down. For now, just please reply to my text at 2 a.m. So for now, for me. Okay guys, so um, it's actually time to head back down now. So yeah, I'm gonna end the video over here. Um, I hope you guys enjoy that scenes, that extra scenes of the dams on top of Table Mountain. Once again, for those people who are not from Cape Town, um, this is definitely a must do. If you are into hiking, you're an adventurous person, this is a must do. Um, and for those people who don't know who I am, once again, I'm Antonio, Antonio Roberto Vlogs. Um, I'm a tour guide in Cape Town and I usually take you to beautiful places like these. Okay, um, if you do want to check out my other videos, guys, I will link it up at the end of this. Click on the end screens, there will be more hikes there you guys want to do. I actually do guided hikes and, um, you know, tours. So if you guys want to see how to do the hikes the right way and the safest way, Definitely go check my other hikes out. There's more content coming in the future as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, subscribe um, if you would. That will be a major, major help. Um, and like this video if you found this video interesting. Give a like as well. Um, and for those guys, leave a comment behind. Um, leave a comment below what you thought about this video, you know. Um, what you thought about the dams and, you know, which one was your favorite dam. This is actually the Waterworks Museum where I am at now at the moment. And this is all the equipment, you know. Um, that was used back in the day in the 1800s. Um, so you can find the old locomotive steam train inside this museum over here. But I have videos on that if you do want to check out my previous vlog before this from this beautiful, beautiful hidden gem of Cape Town. But trust you guys are doing well. Have a lovely day further and stay tuned for more videos. Antonio Roberto Vlogs, we out. Oh, 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 oh.